bitch, that just can't apply it back. Yeah, baby, let me tell you, you so fine, you so sexy. Baby, let me tell you, you a dime, baby, let's be friends. I can spend this money on the time if you let me. What is up everybody? It's your boy King Voice Productions and I'm back, my hair's fucked up, back at it with another reaction video. So today I'm here with NF Time. Um, this is the like official music video. He just dropped this last night at like 12 o'clock so you know I'm reacting to it. What time is it right now? 11.48. If y'all want to check the time. Oh, oh, it's not focusing. Oh, 11.48, July 12th. Um, hopefully I get, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to really get these up. I'm gonna definitely probably get these up by tonight. So it came out at 12 o'clock earlier today. Um, but I've done a lot of the NF videos on the channel before and some people, uh, seem to like them. Um, I know my buddy Ricky's probably watching, so shout out my boy Ricky. Um, where, me and him are probably gonna be going to the concert, um, that he has in Detroit in a couple months. I can't remember if it's September or October, one of the two. Um, uh, we're probably gonna be going to the concert. Um, in a couple months, and also the, uh, his album, I, th I think it was the 26th, I believe, was the 26th that NF's new album drops, and I'm pretty sure this is probably going to be the last single off the album, um, I don't know if Y is going to be on it, the song that he dropped last year, but we have The Search, we have When I Grow Up, and then we have, now this one's this song, Time, so three singles, maybe, um, Y, so maybe four singles, and the album drops, mm, I think it's the 26th, of July of this month so this is probably the last single from the from the album that we're gonna be getting but only a couple weeks until the actual album drops so let's get right into it it's a four minute video that doesn't necessarily mean it's a four minute song but let's just get right into it let's go She dipping. This shit's always so sad. Even if we both break down tonight. Oh, he came in with a little singing. First of all, uh, this shit is like so. Um, I feel like it's kind of like imp not empowering, but like to leave someone who's bad for you. I don't know. I, I obviously I don't know the whole the whole story behind these two yet, but like it just seems like from like the vibe that I got from him already he's just like he seems like a controlling person I don't know if that's true or not but like just like off the first 20 seconds of watching you can like tell and this guy seems like he's a pretty good actor of like he's like a controlling person so it's like kind of good that she's leaving but like NF came in with the singing I was like alright he said even if we both okay. even if we both break down tonight and you say you hate me and we go to bed angry i know everything will be all right i'll be here waiting i promise i'm changing i just need a little time to show you i'm worth it i know that i can be a difficult person i'm a stress case Hey, so uh, this this is this is going towards this like girl or something? Cause I know he's married now. I don't I can't remember his wife's name. I think Bridget. Is that right? Ah, I'm sorry if I if I messed that up. But um, I know he's married now. So I don't know. Is this song like towards this girl? Kind of like talking about how he said they can go to bed angry, but they still kind of like love each other, kind of thing. But then also like he well, his first thing he's like I know I can be a difficult person, but like thank you. Like I feel like that's with everybody though. Like everyone has their like thing that like they don't like changing about them themselves but like as a partner i feel like people need to adapt rather than change you know what i mean so like if i if i have a weird quirk or if like a girl or if someone like my partner has a weird quirk or whatever i should adapt to that and be like all right i can deal with this rather than being like oh you you can't do that you can't do that no you have to adapt as as a partner to be like okay you do this this way, that's fine. You know, I do it a different way, but we can both do it in our own ways and still be, you know, still be like this. You know what I'm saying? Strap you up the wall when I'm working. Actually, I'm probably worse when I'm not. You don't deserve it. Make you nervous because you know I'm a break soon. Every time I do, I say something that hurts you. Acting like I'm gone, but we both in the same room. I don't like to be wrong, which I know you relate to. And I know I make you feel like you're at the end of your road. That's when I look at you and tell you I'll be better alone. Just a pride talking, isn't it? Because both of us know I'm the definition of wreck. If you look into my soul, comes out the most when I feel I'm in a vulnerable place. Made a lot of mistakes. I wish I knew how to erase. When I'm afraid, might get distant and I push you away. But no matter the case, I'ma do whatever it takes, even if both break down. Hey, this kind of like, 
I like the um, the whole like rapping on the verses and him doing a little singing on the chorus. Like I kind of I kind of fuck with that. It kind of reminds me of Lie a little bit, just a little. Not not like entirely, but like the way that he broke up the the verses in the chorus on Lie. That's what this kind of reminds me of a little bit. Tonight, and you say you hate me, and we go to bed angry. I know everything will be alright I'll be here waiting I promise I'm changing I just need time Who is this? Who is this singing the little singing? It sounded like I don't know why for some reason it sounded like Halsey singing. I know I don't I know it's probably not cuz they probably have a feature but like it kind of sounds like her a little bit in the in the singing part. But. Doesn't it sound like her? Yeah, way before I bought you the ring, we were fighting back and forth like you were wearing a thing. Two passionate people, not afraid to say what they think. Lead a passionate conversation when it's hard to agree. You know me well. Yeah. That's true as fuck though, but it's also, I feel like that's also good for a relationship that you don't have, like, you have two passionate people that are both, like, both want to be right, but it's, like, in a way where hopefully you can be respectful about wanting to be right, but, like, if you have one person who's a pushover, then it makes the relationship so, like, so one-sided that it's, like, damn, you know, like, you have to have, if you have, like, oh, the guy is such a pushover that the girl is able to just make all the decisions, everything, she changes him and does all that stuff, or it's the other way around, the guy is, is very controlling and kind of, like, makes every decision for the girl, and that, that shit is not cool, like, that, those relationships, I feel like, never work, and if they do, it's always, like, you always, they always seem angry at each other, they always seem, like, one, or one side always seems angry, or, you know, something like that, so, I don't know. I think it's I think it's good when both people kind of stand up for themselves and don't let you just push the push them around so to speak you know what I mean Sitting on the edge of my seat looking at life over analyzing everything always depressed trying to find a better version of me searching for something I know's probably right in front of my feet stubborn is me maybe not but you're close to it got a lot of issues I'm trying to work through them going to therapy for you something that's worth doing when I know you've been there for me through all of my worst moments and I know it hurts knowing that I carry this weight on my chest making yeah First of all, I like the video. I like the whole, like, how everything's, like, backwards. Because it's kind of, like, rewinding time. Like, I wish, like, people always say that, like, I wish I could rewind time. I wish I could be different. I wish I could, I wish I could do this different. So they're like, oh, I'm rewinding time. So where I could change this moment. Oh, I said, I hate you. Or something like that. I said that. I don't know why I did that. I hate you. No. But, like, you said, like, I, I hate you. Like, you're like, ah, oh, damn it. I wish I didn't say that. I wish I could rewind time and be like, ah, I didn't, I don't want to say that. Because I don't mean it, you know, like, you don't mean it, but you, like, say it because you're, you're so frustrated and so pissed off, you're like, oh, I hate you, and then you end up saying it, and you're like, damn, why did I say that, and that, then they're like, damn, I wish I could rewind time, and that's what they, I feel like this whole thing is leading up to, it's, like, a point in time where they, because like, these two seem very unhappy this whole time, this whole video, they seem so unhappy with, like, what, this relationship, or just, like, in general, so there's probably, like, one point it's going to lead up to, and that's going to, that's my, that's my guess for this video, is that the final part is going to be them, and there's going to be something that happens between them that's going to piss them both off, and then that moment, they're rewinding to, changing what they say, and then they'll be happy go moving forward. Um, and I also like how, I, I said this in the last video, but the, the, like, filter or whatever they put on these videos, his editors and stuff like that, it's like it's just like this dark filter that even when it's like bright out like if like this shot may not so much but like a lot of the shots when they're outside it just looks like it's like about to storm out it looks like it's like overcast but it's not like you if you look at the sky in some of them it's it's there's not a cloud in the sky but it looks like it's overcast it's like a darker grayish tint that they put on the on the shots and it looks so cool and that's how he does like most of his videos. And it's difficult for me to open up and connect. Lot of regrets. I apologize for all the distress. That's not what I meant to do. You know I love you to death. Even if both break down tonight. Okay, but who? <laughs> like, who would have a living room like this, first of all? Like, what do you do in this living room? Like, there's a fireplace. You just read? Like, the, I would put like a TV right here on this little, or like, hang it up, mount it on the wall right here. Or you like put it on this little shelf, move these damn plants. 
like a TV or something right here. But like, what else do you do in this room? Like, this is like the lounge or something. Like, I would never sit in this room. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, maybe like if I'm on my phone chilling like this, laying on the couch, if there was a room like this in my house. Or like, it would be cool to have like conversations with people or like play like a board game or something like that. But besides that, like just to sit in this room would be awful. Obviously it's a set, but it's just like funny. say you hate me and we go to bed angry. I know everything will be alright. I'll be here waiting. I See, that's like a happy moment. This is this is a happy moment right here. They look like they're smiling and just like like playing around, tossing laundry at each other and stuff like that, like having a good time. So this is one of those like good moments that they're rewinding. Here to. Waiting, I promise I'm changing. I just need See, it's like rewinding to all these like good moments that they had like just like a simple like brushing their teeth together like they like just as they stay in this house together it's like something that they do hanging up pictures they seem like happy like this this little scene he's like I don't know what he's doing but like fixing her hair or something I don't know or fixing her hood see look they just look like they're having fun Them moving in, right? And this is where they first met. Why he kind of looked like a uh, he kind of looked like Sebastian Stan, the guy that played uh, Bucky in the uh, the Winter Soldier in Avengers. He kind of looked like him a little bit. So it's just going back to like when they first met, when they were like, it shows that, and I get why it's called time, you know, just like, I just needed time or something like that. From what I, what, what I kind of saw in the video was like, it was partially, I think it was like time to see like what person you really are, you know, like, because they were, they fell in love, they moved in together, they had like all these great moments and then it like evolved into like, ugh. You know, like, so one of the things was I just needed time to see, like, what kind of person you really were. Like, you're really actually a shitty person for me. But it's also, like, it's also, like, um, you'll find the right person. I, 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 what I think is, I think you'll find the right person for you no matter what. Like, there's people all the time that are like, I'll never be happy. I'll never find the person for me. Yes, you will. Like, you'll find the person that you're supposed to be with. You'll eventually find that, you know. It might take time. It might take a couple years. You might not find them in your 20s. You might not, you know, you might be 30 years old be like, damn. You know, like, I wanted to start my family by now. And and I hope that everyone can. And I hope that I'm able to do that. But, like, if, they, if you don't, like, don't give up hope and be like, oh, that's it. I'm going to be alone for all my life. No, like, you have to just keep keep out there, go, go out there searching because you'll eventually find the one that you're supposed to be with. But yeah, this video, man, it was a cool little video. I like the song, um, and I like how NF kind of talks about his own personal life, too, just, like, because this is probably his the things that he deals with, because I know he has, like, I think he has anxiety. I think that's what he talks about a lot. He's, he has anxiety about stuff, and, like, it's hard for a partner to have to deal with, like, an anxiety, because it's, like, they could do something so small and so simple that could, like, cause, cause something, like, a cause an anxiety attack or cause something, so, like, and then he's he was saying something like, like, you stand up for yourself and I don't like that sometimes. Or some, he said something along those lines. And it's like, but like that's that's the key is like, like I said before, you can't have like one pushover and one like dominant person in a relationship because it will never work out. Because then you you won't be happy when you guys can when people can can be like it's like this when you guys can be like this, it's gonna work. When one person's like on top like this, it's not gonna work. It's gonna always push it down. But like, say for example, this is the the example I like to see. When you have your hands like this, someone can push them down easily. So like when one person's dominating 
and there's another person like this, someone could push them down easily, but like when you're like this, it's not as easy to break, you know what I'm saying? Or like when one person, and it's like this, I, I, it's a bad analogy, it's, it's a bad thing, but like when, I'm, I'm gonna stop doing the hand thing, because it's kind of stupid, but like when one person dominates, it's bad for the, that's all I'm trying to say, like I'm just trying to say it in like a weird way, I guess, but yeah, if you guys did like, please leave a like, Please subscribe. Original video is in the description down below if you'd like to check that out for yourself. Remember, um, the album does come out the 26th. I hope I'm saying that date right because I don't want to like, because people will be in the comments talking about some. They'll be like, it doesn't come out the 26th, it comes out the 20 blah blah blah. And I'll be like, alright, my bad. Um, search. Here we go. July 26th. Okay. It is July 26th. Okay, Hopefully, good thing I got that right, because I'm <laughs> people would be on my ass if I didn't get that right. They'd be like, oh, you idiot. It actually comes out. And then I'll be going to the the concert. I can't remember. I can't. Oh, this is not the right website. Um, I can't find it. I can't remember the date exactly, but if you guys are NF fans and you do live in Michigan, um, you might see me at the concert. Um, I think I'm going to the one in Grant. He go has two in in Michigan. He's going to Madison Heights and then or Sterling Heights and um, Grand Rapids. I think I'm going to the one in Grand Rapids. So if you are a um, NF fan and you are going to the concert, um, maybe see if you can find me. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Don't like, don't like miss the show because you're looking. But like, if you're a subscriber here and also an NF fan. Um, I'll probably be at the concert. I don't know 100% yet. I don't know if everything's going to work out entirely yet, but I'm hoping to go. So, all right, thank you guys. And until next time, it's your boy, King Boys Production. Squaw! Love it when you walk my way. Maybe you a boss. I'm going to listen when you talk now, baby. Love it when you walk that way. We can go far, take trips for your birthday, baby.